Welcome to the Entrepreneur Podcast, where we take a look inside the lives of the accomplished and successful businessmen and women. We'll get up close and personal with the founders of booming startups. So lean in and prepare to carry away something to skyrocket your own business. Please subscribe to our show and do leave us a review. It means a lot to us. Now, here's your host, Rajiv. Hey, listeners, welcome to the Entrepreneur Talk Show. I am your host Rajiv Unikrishnan and this is the show where we talk about entrepreneurship and speak to great founders entrepreneurs and in- investors today we have the Shona Sinha the chief creative director and founder at the Digital Rose welcome Shona hi uh, just a brief intro so the Digital Rose is an online company helping indian bloggers and influencers reach the next level it is uh, india's it is at india's forefront of creating the next generation of uh, a blogging media company and redefining how indian bloggers operate in the global blogosphere uh also just to mention the entrepreneur podcast in partnership with the digital rose has partnered for a six part series showcasing the journey of blogging with six of the rose bloggers starting next week hopefully more on that later uh just before we go on to the product again welcome shona uh, do let us know if any gaps in the intro and what's going on in your world today um just enjoying bangalore and the demonetization issues <laughs> at the moment all right while trying to juggle the blogging industry of india all right so if we get into product first any passions or time for any passions outside of work i recently got into kickboxing which was okay. a great way of uh, you know exploring getting things more active because as we know the digital world you just sit in front of a iphone or a computer and that's all it is so right. trying to move more towards active going on hikes and stuff like that all right so to the coming to the inevitable question is uh, what inspired the idea for this rose so in india blogging is growing uh, the influencers in aptly put the influencers influence is growing at a very high rate mm-hmm. and the market is very exciting uh I jumped into this because I noticed via my social media feeds, Instagram feed that the way brands were collaborating with these powerful influencers was quite boring uh and it didn't really have a purpose behind it. So I really wanted to get in deep, fix both ends, how the brands were communicating through bloggers and the kind of quality of content that the bloggers were putting out as well. Correct. and uh, i mean you were already i mean you had some experience in the space or uh, in the technology space how did you just come across i mean getting into this so i uh, when i graduated from the us i moved back to india mm-hmm. and i really wanted to explore the startup scene in india um it's so exciting right now I, especially in bangalore it's correct about startups so i started working at a marketing agency and there what i noticed was that while dealing with clients creativity was getting really nuzzled out a very liquefied so by the time people were actually putting out their branding or their marketing out there it wasn't really at par so i started doing a lot of research um read a lot of books by great entrepreneurs and market heads okay oh, and realized that um yeah has the potential to reach at the level that these authors were writing about in the western world mm-hmm. so i wanted to so that this knowledge was tailored for indian market but also pushed the boundaries beyond what the western world has done all right and what would the vision be for the company the vision for the company is two parts one part is actually bring the knowledge of the bloggers so in india right now um people assume that if you open a wordpress account you're a blogger Yeah. And they want the success of, you know, the top bloggers like Kiara Farani or House of Misu or stuff like that. And that is not true. So we are working very hard at educating the bloggers to make them the best version of themselves. So they put out quality content out there, which the whole world can be proud of. Um on the other end, I want to make sure that when the brands collaborate with mm-hmm. these influencers, there's an actual impact on their brand it shouldn't just be you know sending free products and getting a photo on instagram it should have something to assure that there's a brand recall or getting what your brand persona is all about Correct. so i want to make sure that they both uh, gel well together in the most 
knowledgeable way. All right. And when you thought of this idea initially, I mean, uh, was it only you to take this uh, idea off the ground or were you any co-founders? No, it's only me. So uh, it involved a lot of uh, back and forth with my dad and my brother mm -hmm. uh, because um, this is the second venture that I've started in the past three years. I started one while in college as well okay. from my tiny dorm room. So it was, again, a very um, interesting aspect because this time I was going into services something I hadn't explored before. Correct. So uh, mostly I spoke to my father and my brother. My brother's in the venture capital world in the US and my dad has around, I don't even know, 50 million years. That's what it seems like to me. <laughs> uh, years of experience in strategy and working with, you know, clients. Okay. So I moved back and forth with them a lot. And on the other end, I spoke to like, people around my age, people who are actually influenced by influencers. Correct. So I wanted to make sure that what the conversation was going on within our age group as well. All right. So when you uh, thought of the idea and actually developed something, or uh, I mean, did you test it out with a few bloggers before you took it and made, I mean, made it uh, full-blown? Yeah, to be dead honest, um, I think... I probably changed the idea three times or four okay. times before it actually became what it is. And every morning I wake up, I think of something else. And um, I feel like um, I can do this as well, but, you know, I have to push it back. Uh, but initially, we did do a pilot run with 10 bloggers. Um, and that was very successful. The Daily Rosé is the email that we sent out every morning with specially curated content to make mm -hmm. them better bloggers. That just went off the marks they started telling their friends their blogger friends and we just kept getting emails so we were like okay wait we might have something here correct uh then we moved into the other phases because we wanted to make sure that we were keeping you know even those 30 bloggers who had trusted us to give them the best content before you know just rushing through that correct like other brands often do yeah so how does the digital rose work what's your business model i mean what all do you how do you help your bloggers so our business model has many verticals. Uh, our USP or the thing that really mm -hmm. sets us apart, um, we haven't found something like this in India especially, but uh, Correct. the world which we have tried to, I'm trying to hunt it down, there has to be something like that. We are really focused on making the bloggers educated, which is the daily rosé. So the bloggers subscribe for a very small amount of 179 a month, which is priced around you know a Starbucks coffee. And the idea is that you really believe in your blog enough to invest into your future okay as any entrepreneur would uh you know as an entrepreneur on across the board we buy books we sign up for webinars and so many things we actually pay to become better entrepreneurs correct so i wanted to put that across to bloggers as well um so every morning at 6 30 a.m they get varied um kinds of content sent to the inbox so you know yesterday we were dealing with all kinds of typography so you know so that builds them they it, they get motivated and you know when they meet with brands they know exactly what they're talking correct, about correct so if the brands tells them that hey how are you going to handle the seo or something mm -hmm. they have the answers to give it back you know they know exactly okay what okay so you're and educating the uh, bloggers on how they should talk to their customers basically Talk to their customers, how to grow their blog, Correct. how to okay. grow their Correct. social media, how to take the photography mm -hmm. better. In the blog, it's, every day is changing. So we want to make sure that they're updated and doing the best that they can. Okay. And the second, which we are trying to introduce, which um, India is kind of very off, uh, but we are again in the educating field, is something called TDR Consulting, the mm -hmm. Digital Jose Consulting, which is all about giving you one-on-one -on -one guidance. Okay, got so it. We are very focused on making bloggers realize that, hey, if you expect to be paid for your services, you should start thinking of yourself as a small business owner. Absolutely. And yeah. as any small business owner, um, you always look for outside consulting, if it's for strategy or if it's for web designing or website designing, whatever it is, you always look outside for consulting. So we are putting that across to bloggers. So if you really want that one-on-one -on -one help, you know, it might be, you know, designing your logo or it might be doing a web analysis or anything like that. We will be there for you. And uh, so uh, you also have a, a shop that I saw online, right? 
Yeah, so those shop the shop is basically uh, for subscribing for the six okay, got it. And the consulting fee. All right. So your growth has been uh, pretty good. I mean, you have I think what hundred plus uh, rosy influencers. I'm sure it's a higher number now. And uh, have you helped them a lot in increasing their uh, following also? The assurance which we got, um, which was very strong to us, was that uh, a lot of the uh, bloggers started writing back to us. Okay. So writing back to us with very small lines like, "Hey, guess what? I fixed my Instagram photography." and immediately my engagement which is actually you know comments and actually talking yep automatically increased and that was brilliant i didn't even realize that you know just changing the color of the instagram photo could do that uh so yes so we the tips have definitely helped the bloggers not just improve their social media but also improve the type of writing that they are doing in blogs so you know it could be very similar from very something very small from like you know using because is full spelling rather than how they spell it these days b c u z or something you know okay. so actually making sure that the quality of content has improved and we focus on that a lot make sure that the content is solid so we do internal reviews mm-hmm. of blogs we give them one on one guidance just to assure the brands and the bloggers that hey you're doing well don't worry just keep pushing yourself great so your revenue model would be pure play subscription right as of now um that's one and then on the other end we're working with brands as well okay uh, yeah so um what sets us apart is because we are educating the bloggers the brands are actually quite excited as well because they know it's not just that they're working with random bloggers they found on correct, uh, correct. instagram they know that there's someone behind it we have a rapport with the bloggers so they are constantly in communication with us as well so we do various different um ways of interacting with the brands that can range from you know directly ping them mm-hmm. by emails or event hosting and planning creating influencer marketing campaigns or we're thinking of adding something new which just went up on the site a week ago actually starting influencer think tanks and focus groups okay which is very um i think exciting because uh everyone wonders you know is this lip shade lipstick shade going to work for the 824 fashionable girl the beauty girl who is always interested in mm-hmm. the new makeup correct just ask them ask them <laughs> um so i'm very focused on making sure that the guest work is just out of the out of the plan altogether just okay. go out ask them, get the right answer and that's it all right so what is your current count of your influencers or bloggers you have on site is it like crossing more than 100 uh, today so we are at 122 influencers at the moment oh great all right and uh, how is the feedback being from the brands i mean have uh, you helped the brands a lot also from the feedback you've got Yeah so uh, the brands uh, two three of the brands that we started off with who I really appreciate because they put in a in trust when Correct. you know we were just there with an idea and they immediately came back to us asking like hey can what do we do next because one of the ideas that we had was getting your products directly into the influencer's hands via the welcome bag so every influencer signs up with us mm-hmm. gets a welcome bag to for us judge how they work with the products so it's you know that uh, admission test almost uh, that we did in college correct correct and immediately when we sent two three products it just started lighting up on social media and all the three brands were like wait why didn't we think of this before so they've come back to us and they're like let's do the next step let's go for the next step all right uh, what's your team size currently so currently we're at size of 3 all right uh, uh me um then we have a digital marketing strategist to kind okay. of help on the brand side and then there's someone to help with the blogger side the communication with that blogger keep that active and social media okay uh otherwise for like photographers and videographers we thought we should keep it freelance because Correct. you know if you need a black and white photographer you don't um, don't want to hire someone who videographer Correct. so we wanted to keep that flexible All for right. everyone and uh, quite a few partnerships with brands already so we have partnered with 
five brands five, as okay. of yet, uh, international and domestic. And we are looking at two, three more partnerships coming up in the next two months. All right, great. So it's a busy, busy time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Good problem to have, good problem. <laughs> <laughs> so just to inform everyone, uh, so the Entrepreneur Podcast uh, has partnered with Additional Rosé. And what we are planning to do is uh, initially get six of the influencers uh, ranging from the beginners, uh, like uh, the girl in the sky, high heels, the Truzo, the intermediate, which is the uh, Storial Secrets and the Gourmet Runway, and the expert bloggers like Magali V and Style and More, which my wife has heard of, so it's good. Uh, get them on the show and speak to them and uh, start with that and see how it goes and then probably get more bloggers on. You would like to add anything more, Shona, on the partnership? Yeah, I'm very excited about this because I strongly believe that any customer that guesses the target audience needs, wants brand approach or any other factors is simply stealing your money. So via this six-part series, the Digital Rosé and the Entrepreneur Podcast really wants to show brands that bloggers in India are smart, creative, passionate entrepreneurs by listening to them themselves, you know, Correct. to actually hear what their thoughts are. That's why we divided it amongst beginner, intermediate, and experts. Mm -hmm. So you can understand how each of them is thinking. Therefore, that's how, then it'll become easier for brands and PR agencies to approach them. All right. So before I, I, I want to ask some few questions outside of work also. I mean, you have... What does that mean? In is there a life outside work for you? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, like, you have done a startup before and now. So what are the challenges you've seen over time facing startups of, of starting something up in India? I think right now, it's not that hard. Um, there are days when you get three hours of sleep and there are days when you can sleep for 14 hours with nothing to do, you know. But um, I think that's the excitement of entrepreneurship. And I think that's why someone gets into entrepreneurship. Um, the uncertainty of where life is going to take you. If you're passionate about it, I think it's quite strong. Uh, what issues... Um, I think the legalities of Indians uh, becoming proprietorship mm -hmm. um, are kind of iffy. Uh, there's no direct line or clear indications there, okay. but uh, it is improving. Uh, Prime Minister Modi is working very strongly at making sure that Indian entrepreneurs can actually go out there. All right. And uh, who would you say influenced you most in life? I think my dad. I think that's a very uh, cliched answer. We have many answers <laughs> to this question. So, <laughs> so um, I'll tell you why, though, because it's thing. Um, he worked very hard um, for 25 years, I'm going to say, okay. to provide the best education for my brother and I. Um, and then when right when I graduated, I'm not even kidding. The day I graduated, he decided that I'm done working the 95. And he applied to his school, Howard. And guess where my dad is right now? Oh. That Howard study. Oh, wow. Seriously? So, <laughs> yeah. So this is a man who put every drop of blood to provide the best for his family. And when he was done, he was just like, now I'm going to take a year for myself. Excellent. And actually, that's yeah, that's so a I first, think, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that takes a lot of guts, especially in India when of you're course. 55, 60. Um, yeah, kudos to him. Absolutely. And what are some of the best advice you've been given over time? I think um, the one that I strongly live by is um, honesty is the most powerful when you know no one's watching. Um, and that's by my father again. And I think that's very important right now with the demonetization and the black money <laughs> issue. Um, but yeah, it's all about being ethical, knowing that when you sleep at night, um, your conscience is clear and then you can do anything. You All right. And... Over the past few years, when did you know you were meant for entrepreneurship? My parents say that it came from my nana, <laughs> okay. um, my grandfather. Yeah. But um, I always knew that I would find it very tough to work for someone else. Um, because Not because I'm stubborn or stuff like that. But I have a very logical reasoning to the way I'm behaving or the way that I'm putting a project across. Mm -hmm. Which the other party might not understand. Correct. Um, and I always come with clear instruction, like OCD almost, to the detail. <laughs> so I always knew that I have 
do it on my own or else it might be a pain for my boss if i show him up one too many times and that happened one to two times Correct. and they were just like hey you want to sit out this meeting so now at the digital rose i don't have to sit out any meetings <laughs> correct <laughs> and where do you see you, uh, yourself and your business let's say in the next 2 to 3 years i am very ambitious um so i am hoping that uh, via the digital rose the influencer marketing climate in india changes changes completely it means more educated bloggers and on the other end a uh, better brand collaborations that the world and hopefully the brands and the bloggers will do it through the digital rose all right all the best for that finally we come to a part of the show which is a quick fire round simple brief answers oh all right so when people ask you what do you do how do you answer that ask me what i'm sorry when people ask you what you do how do you answer that oh i um, the auto driver asked me yesterday and i was like <laughs> celebrities say you know uh, sell stuff through mini celebrities all right so that's First of all, you have got to travel in auto in Bangalore. Anyway, <laughs> I don't think there's any better way to travel. The traffic is just too much there. So when you think I, of the word successful, who is the first person that comes to mind? Um, I think different ways, monetary or in life. I think my dad, mm-hmm. or I would also say, oh, no. all right. Let's I go think on. my dad. No problem. <laughs> what do you excel at that people might not realize finding the mistakes in the details okay and what is something you believe in that other people think is totally insane being way too truthful for anyone's good <laughs> and shona's Ethics. greatest shona's greatest weakness shona's greatest weakness is not being able to say no i think <laughs> and your favorite city globally new york always same here <laughs> always always <laughs> And finally, uh, any piece of advice that you want to give our aspiring listeners and founders? Um, I think I have just begun in this industry, but I strongly believe, and all your entrepreneurs who are listeners have been in this field for longer, and I think they'll absolutely agree that kindness goes a long way. Correct. Um, yeah, kindness goes a long way. Giving someone who you don't think is qualified two minutes of your time goes a long way, and because it surprised absolutely. me, absolutely, yep, it surprised me when I spoke to a col- recent college graduate, and he just blew my mind. I was like, "Wait, how come I didn't think of that?" Okay. And I could have totally missed him at the correct. <laughs> so kindness goes a long way. Okay. Please let our listeners know how they can reach you and also the digital rose. You can reach the digital rose at uh, www.thedigitalrose.com. Mm-hmm. or you can reach me at shona.sinha s h o n a dot sinha like the sanakshi is an actress okay at the digital rose.com all right again uh, shona thanks for taking the time to talk to us and inspiring our listeners to start your adventures and all the very best at building and scaling the digital rose thank you so much for your time i'm very <laughs> excited for this six part series Same i think yeah absolutely quite exciting <laughs> so do visit uh, the digital rose.com and visit us at theashianentrepreneur.com to get the show notes and also please subscribe to the show on all the platforms and leave a review on your thoughts about the show thank you thank you for listening and please subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode in the meantime head over to theashianentrepreneur.com and check out show notes and other information to motivate you in your entrepreneurial endeavors